Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can run your Jess React Native tests in GitHub whenever you either push a commit or you create a pull request or you manually trigger it. So I'm going to add this new folder .github slash workflows and inside that you're going to have all your uh, GitHub Actions YAML files. Um, so you can access the YAMLs, the actions through the GitHub UI website. Um, so I've just created my ci.yml file and first off I'm just going to give it a name. So name just so that I'm going to be test testing my React Natives apps. Then I'm defining this on, so this is the different triggers that will trigger the action. So one of them I'm going to define as the pull request. Then I've got this workflow dispatch, which basically means I can manually trigger it through the UI. And then I've got this push. So you can actually specify what branches you want to allow actions or triggers for. And so um, I'm going to trigger it when someone merges, uh, pushes to my main branch. Um, for pull requests, I'm just going to take all and any workflow dispatches as well. Now I'm creating my job, which is my unit tests. You can create multiple um, jobs, but I've only got one at the moment, which will be my unit tests, and I'm going to give that a name, run tests. I specify what it's going to run on, so I'm going to specify that it's just going to run on the latest version of Ubuntu. And then I'm going to specify some steps that will allow it to run. So I'm going to check out my code. I'm going to set up my Node.js. That's going to enable me to run my npm install and then my npm run test command. And I'm going to specify my Node version as well. So I'm just going to specify 14. You can specify whatever version you want. Then I've got a command of uh, what I want to run. So I want to run the command npm install. And after that, I'm going to run the command npm run test because at that stage, all my dependencies have been installed. So I'm going to go ahead and commit my code and add a commit message. Ignore those um, deleted files you see there. Um, they're from something else that I was doing. It's just the ci.yaml that I'm really interested in. And I'm pushing that changes and that push seems to have failed. Um, when I did it through the terminal, it actually tells me it's because my personal access token doesn't have the workflow scope. Um, so I've updated that and fixed that. And now I'm adding my GitHub action and running it. So when I pushed it, it triggered the um, GitHub action. I can click on it to see a bit more details about it. And then I can click on it once again to sort of see um, what's going on inside that job. So you can click on individual steps to see a bit more detail. And I can go down and I can see that all my tests seem to be passing. And it gives me a little bit of like info if things had some warnings. You can use this to sort of see that your code is um, working correctly and um, you can actually add it to pull requests as well to make sure that if um, the tests haven't passed, then the person can't merge their pull request. So I'll show you how to set that up on a separate time, but yeah, there's also the way of triggering it manually through the UI. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have, please like and subscribe for more 
of my videos and I'll have all my code on GitHub for you.